Hey everyone, welcome back to For Wheels Empire. Today, we're tackling a common issue that many car owners might face the dreaded PO35 to trouble code. If you've seen this code pop up on your OBD to scanner, don't worry, because in this video, we're going to show you exactly what it means and how to fix it. So, let's dive in. PO352 is a trouble code that indicates a malfunction in the ignition coil B primary or secondary circuit. Ignition coils are responsible for transforming the battery's voltage into the high voltage needed to create a spark in the spark plugs. When this code appears, it means that there's an issue with one of your ignition coils, specifically the one labeled as B. Engine misfire, your engine might feel like it's skipping or running rough. Decreased fuel efficiency, you might notice you're burning more gas than usual. Check engine light, of course, the dreaded light on your dashboard. OBD scanner, ratchet and socket set. Replacement ignition coil if necessary, screwdriver, First things first, let's confirm the issue by scanning the vehicle with our OBD to scanner. Plug the scanner into the OBD I port, which is usually located under the dashboard. Once connected, run the scan, and if PO35 to comes up, we know we're dealing with an ignition coil issue. We need to locate ignition coil B. Depending on your vehicle, the ignition coils may be directly on top of each cylinder or connected by a wire. Refer to your vehicle's manual to identify which one is B. Now, carefully disconnect the wiring harness from the ignition coil. Look for any visible signs of damage like cracks, corrosion, or burn spots on the coil and the connector. If the wiring looks fine, we'll test the coil itself. If your coil is bad, replacing it is straightforward. Remove the bolts holding the coil in place swap in the new coil, and reattach the wiring harness. Make sure to apply a bit of dielectric grease to the connector to protect it from moisture and corrosion. Once the new coil is installed, plug the OBD to scanner back in and clear the PO35 to code. Start the engine and take the car for a test drive. If the code doesn't return and the symptoms are gone, you're all set. And that's it, fixing the PO35 to code is a manageable DIY job and by following these steps. You can save yourself a trip to the mechanic. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.